Hi students, today's topic is problems based on solubility product. In our earlier classes, we discussed about the relation between solubility and solubility product for different types of electrolytes. So, let us take the first example. The solubility product of silver chloride is 1.5625 into 10 power minus 10 at 25 degree centigrade. What is its solubility in gram per liter? So, you have solubility product of silver chloride here. First, first thing you have to do when you have this type of problem is write down the equation. So what is the equation for silver chloride? AgCl, right? It can be ionized to Ag plus plus Cl minus. Okay, what is the relation between the solubility and the solubility product for this type of electrolyte? What is this type? It is 1 is to 1 ratio type. That means AB type of electrolyte. The relation is S equal to root of Ksp. Okay, we discussed no in our last classes. Now, the solid here you can write the solubility of this is Ag plus into Cl minus. This is the solubility expression for this silver chloride. Okay, here if the solubility is S. Is yes moles will dissociate or soluble here Ag plus solubility will be yes and Cl minus solubility will also be yes so this can be yes into yes equal to yes square what is the Ksp value given here that is 1.5625 into 10 power minus 10 so yes equal to root of 1.5625 into 10 power minus 10 which is 1.25 into 10 power minus 5 what are the units here moles per liter because for the solubility what are the units moles per liter but here in the question the solubility is asked in gram per liter how can you convert this into gram per liter so you can multiply it with its molecular mass. What is the molecular mass of AgCl? What is the atomic mass of uh, atomic number of Ag and its mass? Its mass, I think, it is one not eight. What is the chloride uh, atomic mass? Thirty five point five. So totally you have one not sorry one forty three point five. What are the units here from molecular mass? Gram per mole, right? Now here the solubility in gram per liter equal to solubility of what solubility of agcl in gram per liter equal to molecular mass into the solubility what is the solubility here you have yes right what is the molecular mass 143.5 gram per mole into what is the solubility you get here 1.25 into 10 power minus 5 mole per liter. So now this and this will cancel. Then you have the final answer 1.79 into 10 power minus 3 gram per liter. So another example. The, here the solubility product of lead bromide is given that is 8 into 10 power minus 5. If the salt is 80% dissociated in saturated solution then find out the solubility. Okay, you have to find out the solubility from the given solubility product. Here ion concentration is not given. Instead of concentration they have given you degree of dissociation. That means which is, which is 80% dissociated. First you have to do first step. What is the first step? write down the equation what is the equation here lead bromide lead bromide formula is p b b r 2 isn't it so it can be ionized like p b plus 2 plus 2 b r minus okay here 80 percent dissociated 80 percent so degree of dissociation we have learned in, in earlier classes so what is the degree of dissociation here 80 percent means 80 by 100 that means 0.8 it can be denoted by alpha or sometimes x also most probably alpha if if uh, generally one alpha is dissociated from this br2 pbbr2 here according to this formula alpha 
will be the solubility of this or degree of dissociation of this pb plus 2 and 2 alpha is belongs to 2 br minus in the same way here what is the alpha value 0.8 alpha or you can say it is here solubility so you can say yes so this will be 0 0.8 yes and this will become this will become 0 0.8 2 into 0 0.8 into yes okay now write down the solubility product relation of this pbr2 so ksp will be pb plus 2 then br minus whole square isn't it this is the relation of the solubility product here you have given the solubility product value what is that 8 into 10 power minus 5 in the question 8 into 10 power minus 5 equal to what will be the pb plus 2 concentration 0 0.8 into s and br minus will be 2 into 0 0.8 into s Okay, so this will become 2.048 yes square. You have square, no, here, sorry. So, this will be cube, s yes, cube. So, 8 into 10 power minus 5. Now, yes can be written as or s cube equal to 8 into 10 power minus 5. What is this? This is KSP. This is the given calculation. So, it will convert into cube root of this value right 8 into 10 power minus 5 and 2 into 0 4 8 i have done with a scientific calculator so i am writing down the direct answer yes will be 3.39 into 10 power minus 2 moles per liter okay this is the solubility of lead bromide okay when 80 percent of uh, salt is dissociated in saturated solution if you want to convert this answer into gram per liter what you have to do you should multiply with this this with the its molecular mass what is the pbr2 molecular mass here i think it is 367 if you can calculate or if you can multiply with this solubility with molecular mass you will get the units like gram per molar as we have done in the last example last example see students this is kind of some tricky question if a sample of water contains 0 0.005 moles of calcium chloride per liter, what is the concentration of sodium sulfate that should be added or used to remove calcium plus 2 ions from this water sample? You have a water sample which contains 0 0.05 moles of calcium chloride but you have to remove calcium plus 2 ions from that water sample by adding sodium sulfate. Then you have to keep in mind that you have to write down the equation first. What is the equation here? If you add calcium chloride to sodium sulfate, what will you get? You will get calcium sulfate as precipitate, right? So here you have to write down the calculation uh, equation first. What will you get? CaSEl2 plus Na2SO4 will give you CaSO4 plus 2NaCl, isn't it? Now you have to concentrate on this. Why? Because the EKSP of CaSO4 is given. So CaSO4 will is like Ca plus 2 plus SO4 minus 2. Very simple. Right. So the KSP value of this expression is Ca plus 2 plus SO4 minus 2. Here in the question, the concentration of Ca plus 2 is given that is salt concentration what is that 0 0.005 moles so this can be 0 0.005 into what is sulfate concentration that you have to find it no so let us assume that it is a then ksp equal to you have this expression this will become what is the ksp is also given no you can write it directly 2.4 into 10 power minus 5 so from this you can calculate A. A what is A? So for sulfate concentration. So A equal to 2.4 into 10 power minus 5 by, by 0.005. What you will get? You will get 2.4 sorry 4.8. 4.8 into 10 power minus 3 
moles per liter so this is the concentration of sulfate that means 4.8 into 10 power minus 3 moles of sodium sulfate should be added to remove calcium plus 2 ions okay this is how you can do your problem by observing the given data this is another example in which you have to find out the solubility of caf2 in 0.1 molar sodium chloride that means you have two solutions caf2 and naf but it has common ion in it that is f right so you have to write down first the re reaction that is equation caf2 is raised to what it will be ca plus 2 plus 2f minus you have to find out the solubility of caf2 no so assume that it is dissociated or the solubility is yes it will be yes and it will be 2s right as per our discussions in earlier classes and then what is the next equation you have to write down here naf which is na plus plus f minus the given concentration here is 0 0.1 molar so it will be 0 0.1 and it will be 0 0.1 now the ksp of uh, kcf is also given write down the expressions for ksp of caf2 that will be ca plus 2 into f minus whole square so f minus concentration will be how much it will be 2s plus or 2x you can say 2s plus 0 0.1 f minus concentration will be here it is 2s and here it will be the given one 0 0.1 this will be 2s plus 0.1 so it can be assumed as yes or a as you wish the ksp is 3.4 into 10 power minus 11 so f concentration will be 2s plus 0 0.1 but here one thing you should do is here because of common ion effect this is equal to will become 0 0.1 molar why when compared to this solubility of uh, calcium or fluorine it has common ion no it has common ion due to the common ion the dissociation of caf2 will also depressed so 2s is very much low when compared to this 0 0.1 molar it is less than this 0 0.1 molar so it is considered as 0 0.1 molar so here s into 0 0.1 whole square so s equal to 3.4 into 10 power minus 9 molar this is the solubility of caf2 in 0 0.1 molar naf next example is calculate 2 h minus 9 concentration in solution after 100 ml of 0 0.1 molar magnesium chloride is added to 100 ml of 0 0.2 molar sodium hydroxide so what you have to do is first you have to check whether the precipitations uh, pres MgOH is precipitated out from the solution after that you have to calculate the solubility of that magnesium hydroxide so how can you check whether the precipitation is formed or not you can check by calculating ionization product uh, ionic product sorry KIP if KIP is greater than KSP automatically MgOH will be precipitated out so first you have to write down the equation when you mix MgCl to NaOH, you will get MgOH twice theoretically, right? And 2 NaCl if you balance this equation. Now, what is the concentration of MgCl here? 0 0.1 molar, 100 ml. The concentration or molarity equal to millimoles or moles by volume right directly moles by volume what is the concentration given here 0 0.1 n by what is the volume 100 so number of moles n equal to 10 so this is 10 moles right 10 millimoles you can say 10 millimoles before the reaction what is the millimoles of NaOH here it is concentration is 0 0.2 so here you will get 0 0.2 in 100 ml so what will you get 20 so 20 millimoles the concentration formula is n by v into 1000 no 1000 stands for millimoles here so before the reaction you have 10 millimoles of mgcl2 and 20 millimoles of naoh you have 0 and 0 here so after reaction so what will you have here 0 and this will be 
zero, then this will be ten and this will be twenty. Now you have to calculate the millimoles or the ionic products of MgOH. MgOH ionic product can be Mg plus two into OH minus whole square. So what is the concentration of Mg plus two? Ten millimoles by what is the concentration formula? Millimoles, millimoles by divided by total volume. So millimoles are ten, and the total volume is hundred plus hundred, two hundred here. Okay, then what is the OH minus ion concentration? Twenty divided by total volume is again two hundred, whole square. This will give you five into ten power minus four moles per liter. So here ten millimoles of MgOH is formed and which is precipitated out. How can you fix that or how can you say it confidently? Because the given KSP is less than this this one calculated one. So MgOH twice is precipitated out from the solution. Now you can calculate. The KSP, sorry, the solubility KSP equal to KSP of MgOH is given here one point two into ten power minus eleven, right? From this, how can you write KSP expression for this type of electrolyte Mg plus two plus OH minus two OH minus? Okay, from the earlier classes for this, this is a bit two type of electrolyte. For this type of electrolyte, the relation between the solubility and product uh, solubility product is S equal to cube root of KSP by four. So here the solubility can be calculated is three or cube root by what is the KSP given here? One point two into ten power minus eleven divided by four. You'll get one point four into ten power minus four. What is this? This is the S. Yes. So here this is S yes and this is two S. Yes. No. If s mo s moles are dissociated, so here the or the solubility sorry solubility is yes, Mg plus two solubility will be yes and OH minus ion solubility will be two s. Yes. Then this is the s value. Then what you will get for two s two s is what here two s is OH minus ion concentration. Two s equal to two into one point four into ten power minus four. You will get two point eight into ten power minus four. So this is the OH minus ion concentration. If question is not asked like that, you have to check this uh, formation of precipitation. There is no need of calculating all these things. You can directly do this portion only by observing what type of electrolyte it is and the relation between the uh, solubility and solubility product. Then you can calculate easily. Okay, students. This is all about and few examples of solubility product exam numericals. Thanks for watching.